Hello, my name is Michael Martell and I'm one of the park bench players. Today we have a lady that uh, does artwork and I'll let her introduce herself to you. Hello, I'm Jillian McCullough, uh, local artist here in Antigonish. What inspired you to becoming an artist? Well, when I was a very small child, I was very fortunate to have some very beautiful illustrated children's books. And they were of fairies and castles and princesses and all of that. And they were so beautiful that I really wanted to be an artist. So I picked up my crayons and I got to work and I realized, oh, it's going to take me a little bit longer than I thought. It was very difficult to try to copy those pictures with crayons, but I, I tried, I started. Mm -hmm. And uh, I always loved art. Oh, always. that's good. Yeah. And it takes a little longer than that. You have to learn all the technical aspects of painting. You have to learn the dexterous skills, how to manipulate the paint with brushes and various tools. So it mm -hmm. does take a lot of practice. So yeah, it took me many years to mm -hmm. actually produce a painting that was worth looking at. Can you tell us about your art exhibition? Well, as a, as a young mother of about 35, I had had a number of exhibitions as an artist, mostly portraits and still life and beautiful things that I loved. And uh, I had a very wonderful life. I was married, a beautiful daughter, a comfortable home. Uh, but I started to have difficulty in the winter time. The extra stress that added on that really made it really difficult was having a child and not being able to have proper sleep routines, so it was all about sleep. Then I had to learn about uh, food, I wasn't eating properly. So there were a number of stresses that all collectively, along with the seasonal winter depression, just made and, a disaster. Yeah, and how would this be like a healing process for you, your artwork? Well, the artwork, I wouldn't say it was the artwork that healed me, the show came out of the fact that because I was an artist, not a writer, and I wanted to express what this very dangerous and scary experience was and how I got better, I didn't write a book about it, I decided to do an art show about it. Oh, so, so this was your therapeutic uh, So, out? not really, and, no? and people oh. often ask me that. They say, oh, did the painting as a therapy help you to get better from depression? Yeah, no, and how many no. of these paintings did you do when you were sick? And the answer is, I didn't do any paintings when I was sick. You can't do paintings, you can't do anything it's, when you're sick. You're too depressed, and it's, it's hard to, it's too no difficult energy. for you to do that. That's right, I couldn't do anything. So that very frightening experience, when I did get better, when I did learn how to get better, which was about food, which was about rest, which was about, yes, I did have medicine for a few years, uh, all those things that helped me to get better, I realized when I was well and energetic again, whoa, this is important that people know about this because I mm -hmm. got sick because I didn't know about it. I didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. So all those stresses in my life that came together to be the perfect storm for me to crash um, happened. Just They just yeah. happened. And, and I say often when I do my talk to the students or wherever, I've done this as a PowerPoint presentation about 22 times now, and uh, I always say to uh, people, it's about stress. This kind of a depression is about a stress. In my case, I couldn't sleep because I always had insomnia in the winter. But when you have a small child, you still have to get up in the morning. So I wasn't getting any sleep. And I was really having a hard time. So think of all the single mothers that uh, don't have anyone helping them. It's not surprising that a lot of a lot of people that have uh, depression are women, and a lot mm. of them are single parents. Right. Mm. So anyways, I go into detail <coughs> all those things in the show, but all I want to say about the show very briefly mm -hmm. is that I divided it into three sections. And the first section is uh, symptoms. So there are 39 paintings in the show, and the first uh, 12 or 14 are, are images of what it feels like to have depression, and they're quite scary and they're dark, and you saw the show, mm -hmm. they're not pretty. Mm -hmm. Then the middle section was about things that helped me to get better, and medicine was one of them, but mainly food and learning about rest, learning about the sun, the winter of depression oh, is about yeah. not having enough sun and vitamin D. I didn't know any of that. 
And then the last section is called Small Blessings. And these are all very small, beautiful. There were 10 little paintings in a row. And they were all about the blessings of uh, just small moments in life when you're feeling well again, moments of joy. Was there, would there be anything else that you would like to add about mental wellness? Well, just um, again, it's about stress and watching the stresses in your life. Sometimes it's people, sometimes it's work, sometimes it's not eating properly, sometimes it's too many mm -hmm. drugs or drinking or hanging around with the wrong people. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, so you have to guard yourself and guard your energy. And you know when you're starting, starting to go towards that edge of the cliff. I get a feeling, I don't know about you, but when I get that yeah, bad feeling, it. it's it. like yeah. a stress around the heart. It's not surprising. I used to think it was fear, but I, I understand now it's the nervous system. There are bundles of nerves around the heart. So when, you're, when your brain and your nervous system are stressed, you feel this dread, this pain. It feels like fear. But that's not really what it is. It's stress to the brain. So it means rest. It means eat properly, go to bed, cancel your appointments for tomorrow, and don't make any apologies for it. You have to guard your energy, right? Yes, we want to stay well as, as much as we can. Yeah. We we got to try enough. and do things that would uh, that will make us well and feel better about ourselves. Absolutely. Yeah. And you were talking about uh, self-esteem when you're making art or, or being in a play or accomplishing a new skill or learning new, uh, new uh, skills like learning about filmmaking. Uh, self-esteem is very important too, mm -hmm. having a purpose and learning. It's so important to not yeah. hide at home because yeah. that's not It's good. good to be well. It, yeah. it really is. It makes yeah. a big difference. Yeah. Thank you.